Within the illustrious realm of basketball, tales of extraordinary talent, perseverance, and the relentless pursuit of greatness often come to life. The stage set for an all too familiar narrative. A young, promising athlete, adorned with talent and ambition, poised to carve an indelible mark in the annals of the game. The court was his canvas, his dreams soared higher than the arena's echoing cheers, and the world seemed destined to witness a legacy in the making. Yet, as life unfurls its unpredictable tapestry, the path to immortality in sports can warp, twist, and take unforeseen detours. This is the story of Tashawn Hightower. In the bustling heart of Lithonia, Georgia, a town steeped in the rich cultural tapestry of the South, a future basketball luminary was quietly nurtured. It was May 12, 1999, when a young Tashawn Hightower, unbeknownst to the world, took his first breath in this vibrant corner of the United States. The beating heart of Lithonia seemed to echo the rhythmic bounce of a basketball against the pavement, a prelude to the symphony of a destiny yet to unfold. From the earliest of recollections, Tashawn was drawn to the game. His childhood days were painted with hues of determination and passion for basketball that exceeded mere interest. It was a fervent love affair, ignited by the dimpled orange sphere that became his closest companion. His days were spent navigating the neighborhood courts, emulating the moves of his idols, Kobe Bryant and LeBron James. The late evenings witnessed an undeterred Tashawn, the fading sun, serving as the backdrop to his tireless practice, refining the shots, perfecting the dribbles, and envisioning a future where his name would resonate within the world of basketball. Collins Hill High School in Suwannee, Georgia, became the stage where Tashawn's talents shone with incandescent brilliance. His high school career, peppered with moments of sheer basketball genius, was the foundation upon which his destiny was to be built. It was during these formative years that his basketball prowess became evident to all who watched him play. The precision of his shots, the agility in his movements, and the strategic mind guiding his gameplay hinted at a potential yet untapped. The climax of his high school career, highlighted in a gripping playoff match where his decisive plays led his team to victory, caught the discerning eyes of college scouts across the nation. The whispers of his talent rippled through the air, igniting conversations among sports enthusiasts and coaches alike. Offers from prestigious college basketball programs materialized, each vying for the commitment of this budding star. To Sean Hightower, a name yet to be etched in the minds of basketball fans, was at the precipice of a journey that would soon captivate the imagination of a larger audience. The scintillating moments in high school basketball cast a luminous spotlight on a young athlete poised to embark on an odyssey that would reshape the very fabric of the game. But what lay ahead was not merely a story of triumph and glory. It was a narrative destined for unexpected twists and turns that would challenge the very essence of destiny and the soul of a burgeoning basketball career. In the corridors of the University of Georgia Bulldogs, a campus steeped in tradition and sporting fervor, a new chapter began for the rising star, Tashawn Hightower. It was the fall of 2017 when Hightower donned the iconic red and black jersey, heralding the commencement of an era that would etch his name into the annals of college basketball. The echoes of squeaking sneakers against the polished wooden court floors resonated as the Bulldogs commenced their season. It was within this charged atmosphere that Hightower's extraordinary skills found a platform to soar. His debut in the college basketball arena left an indelible mark on the court, marking the onset of an era where his dexterity and strategic gameplay would captivate audiences. The timeline of Hightower's college career reads like a storyboard of unforgettable moments. In December of 2017, a pivotal game against the University of Massachusetts Minutemen unfolded. It was here that Hightower, with nerves of steel and a precision that seemed almost surreal, delivered a game-winning shot in the final seconds. The crowd erupted in a symphony of joyous cheers, and his teammates enveloped him in a triumphant celebration, solidifying his status as a clutch player. As the seasons passed, Hightower's brilliance continued to illuminate the court. His performance against Auburn in January 2019 remains etched in the memory of basketball aficionados. He orchestrated a stunning play, orchestrating the offense with finesse, and showcasing his remarkable court vision. This game became a turning point, not just for the team's victory, 
but for Hightower's growing reputation as a game-changer. The highlight reel of Hightower's achievements includes his exceptional performance in the SEC tournament in March 2020. His tenacity and leadership were on full display as he led the Bulldogs, contributing crucial points and making impactful plays, cementing their advancement in the tournament. His on-court charisma and composure under pressure became the talk of the basketball world. Not only did Hightower's athleticism draw accolades, but his sportsmanship and commitment to the game earned the respect of his peers and coaches. His relentless work ethic was reminiscent of the greats who had graced the hardwood before him, garnering comparisons to legendary figures like Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson. It was in these defining moments that Tashawn Hightower's journey through college basketball blossomed, capturing the imagination of fans and commentators alike. The whispers of his remarkable career trajectory echoed throughout the sports world, hinting at a potential that transcended the college arena, paving the way for a future bright with promise and possibilities. But as the stars aligned for a promising future, destiny unveiled an unforeseen twist, a turn of events that would reshape the narrative of this rising star's basketball career. In every hero's journey, there comes a turning point, a defining moment that transforms the trajectory of their story. For Tashawn Hightower, the bright spotlight that illuminated his path abruptly dimmed in the face of an unforeseen and distressing incident that would alter the course of his promising basketball career. The clock marked April 8, 2020, a day that would haunt the pages of Hightower's life story. The news of an altercation, an event that unfolded with tragic consequences, cast a somber shadow over the once vibrant narrative of the rising star. Hightower was entangled in an unfortunate incident that shook the basketball world and eclipsed his achievements on the court. The world of collegiate basketball was rocked by the distressing news that surfaced on April 25, 2020, as Tulane basketball player Tashawn Hightower found himself entangled in an alarming connection to a tragic homicide in Stockbridge, Georgia. Six individuals, including Hightower, were purportedly involved in an incident that led to the untimely demise of Devante Anthony Long as indicated in a sad Facebook post from the Henry County Police Department. According to the distressing reports, the incident in question transpired on April 8, 2020, at the 600 building of Spindletop Way in Stockbridge, Georgia, just a stone's throw away from the bustling city of Atlanta. Tragically, Long fell prey to a fatal shooting and was swiftly transported to a hospital where he succumbed to his injuries on the same day, as per the concerning details shared in a subsequent Facebook release from the authorities. The initial account from the Henry County Police Department's Uniform Patrol Division depicted a distressing scene. Officers swiftly responded to the Spindletop Way locale following reports of a person shot, ushering the victim to the hospital in a bid to save his life. Regrettably, the victim couldn't overcome the severity of the injuries, succumbing to the tragic incident that unfolded. As the weight of the situation became clear, detectives from the Henry County Police Department's Criminal Investigation Division launched a rigorous inquiry into the heart-wrenching affair. The result of their comprehensive investigation pointed to several individuals who were allegedly implicated in the untimely death of the victim. Warrants were swiftly obtained for the individuals involved, marking the inception of a legal process that cast a shadow over the collegiate basketball star Tashawn Hightower and those connected to the fateful incident. The call for information from the public echoed through the words of Detective S. Harlan of the Henry County Police Department in Criminal Investigations Division, an earnest plea for any insights or details pertinent to the heart-rending case that had shaken not just the local community, but also the broader realm of sports and society at large. The repercussions of these alarming events were not just confined to legal procedures, they were a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of life the profound impacts of personal choices, and the profound implications on individuals and their surroundings. The legal intricacies of the case gripped the attention of not only the basketball community, but also the wider public eye. The gravity of the situation became more pronounced as the legal process advanced. The complexities of the charges and the severity of the allegations painted a stark contrast to the bright picture of promise and potential that Hightower had once embodied. The narrative, surrounding former Tulane basketball player Tashawn Hightower, took an unexpected turn as his attorney, Avrick Walker, spoke out, asserting a version of events that diverged drastically from the initial reports. Walker claimed that it was Hightower's brother Jeffrey who allegedly fired the fatal shot on April 8th, 
stating that it was an act of self-defense. In a resounding defense of his client, Walker vehemently asserted Hightower's innocence, emphasizing that Hightower was not the individual who discharged the firearm and that the incident, when fully understood, would reveal a different side of the tragic occurrence. He's innocent. He didn't shoot anybody, Walker emphasized, aiming to redefine the narrative that had painted Hightower in a negative light. Walker's statements sought to shift the focus to an alternative sequence of events, outlining that Hightower's brother was purportedly acting in self-defense, claiming that the victim had allegedly brandished a weapon with the intent to harm to Sean, prompting Hightower's brother to take action to protect him. However, contrasting this alternate narrative were the harsh realities of the legal ramifications faced by Hightower. The charges against him, felony murder, aggravated assault, possession of a firearm during a felony, and battery loomed heavily, casting a shadow over the assertions made by his attorney. This grim episode saw a total of six individuals involved, with the authorities confirming five arrests, including that of Tashawn's brother, Jeffrey Hightower, who was also booked on Saturday, April 25th, as reported by the Henry County Police Department's website. The Hightower brothers found themselves detained without bond in the Henry County Jail, adding to the gravitas of this distressing tale. The narrative took another twist, as an arrest warrant obtained by the Atlanta Journal-Constitution outlined a different perspective. The warrant, based on witness accounts, suggested that Tashawn Hightower had allegedly brandished a gun during a confrontation, an account supported by the testimony of a witness who purportedly saw Hightower with the firearm and heard gunshots fleeing into an apartment out of fear. The warrant detailed a confrontation initiated by another suspect, Tyreek Farmer, who engaged in a physical altercation with the victim earlier that day, prompting a distress call for assistance. This culminated in the arrival of Hightower and others at the apartment complex, setting the stage for the tragic and fatal encounter. The complexity of these diverging accounts was a stark reminder of the multi-layered nature of truth, perceptions, and the intricate dance between differing narratives. It portrayed a reality where the truth appeared veiled by conflicting testimonies and a tangled web of events, highlighting the challenge of deciphering the real sequence of events amid conflicting accounts and legal battles. As the legal proceedings unfolded, the weight of the charges hung heavily over the young athlete's career and personal life. The court dates and hearings, set against the backdrop of Hightower's once rising basketball career, became a poignant reminder of the intricacies and complexities of the justice system. The legal aftermath was a storm that swept through the once steady skies of his career. On April 26, 2020, news broke, revealing Hightower's involvement in an incident that led to charges of felony murder, aggravated assault, battery, and possession of a firearm during the commission of a crime. The weight of these accusations was substantial, casting doubt and raising questions about the young athlete's path. This sudden twist in the plot brought with it a whirlwind of emotions for fans, coaches, and peers who had witnessed the prowess and dedication Hightower had displayed on the court. The news sent shockwaves through the basketball community, a world that had admired his talent and potential. The incident marked a tragic deviation in a journey that had been a beacon of hope and promise for a young athlete poised for greatness. The turn of events not only threatened to overshadow the on-court achievements, but also stirred a maelstrom of contemplation and introspection within the wider world of college basketball. As the legal proceedings unfurled, the once promising career of Hightower seemed to hang in the balance. It was a stark reminder of the unpredictability of life and the intricate interplay between personal choices and the consequences they entail. The vibrant storyline that had once depicted a rising star on an upward trajectory was abruptly interrupted, leaving fans and followers grappling with a narrative that had taken an unexpected and dark turn. The ramifications of the troubling events swiftly unfolded as Tulane Athletics promptly responded to Tashawn Hightower's arrest, announcing the immediate dismissal of the former basketball star from the program. The concise and resolute statement conveyed the university's stance upon being apprised of Hightower's arrest, swiftly severing ties with the embattled player. The juxtaposition of his on-court performance and the disheartening turn of events highlighted the profound complexities within the world of collegiate sports. 
Hightower's swift dismissal from Tulane underlined the stringent ethical and behavioral standards expected from players and the swift consequences faced for any divergence from those expectations. The sudden halt to his promising basketball career cast a shadow over the impressive feats he accomplished during his tenure with the Green Wave, illustrating the jarring consequences of off-court actions on a player's professional trajectory. This turning point became a pivotal chapter in Hightower's story, painting a somber and contrasting hue against the vibrant tapestry of his basketball journey. What would follow was not just a legal battle, but a struggle to reclaim a narrative that had been irrevocably altered by a single tragic incident. The reverberations of this unfortunate turn of events were felt not only in the basketball community, but in the broader scope of life's complexities and the human capacity for both triumph and downfall. The reverberations of the unfortunate incident didn't just mark a legal battle for Tashawn Hightower, it cast a shadow over the very fabric of his basketball career. The once bright trajectory of a rising star dimmed, as the incident took an irrevocable toll on his aspirations and the dreams that had seemed within reach. The implications of the legal issues on Hightower's career were far-reaching. The University of Georgia Bulldogs, the very stage where he had once showcased his dazzling talent, found themselves entangled in a moral quandary. In the wake of the charges, questions arose about the ramifications for the team, the institution, and the broader landscape of college basketball. The impact on his professional trajectory extended beyond the basketball court. The National Collegiate Athletic Association NCAA, and the sports governing bodies found themselves grappling with the complexities of an athlete's personal life and their legal battles. The balance between upholding the standards of the game and acknowledging the challenges an individual faces outside the arena became a focal point of discussion and debate. The consequences reverberated not just within the sports community, but also across various media outlets. The once rosy narrative of a rising athlete's journey was abruptly eclipsed by the harsh reality of the legal hurdles he faced. Discussions about the fragility of an athlete's public image and the intricate dance between talent and personal conduct became a subject of intense scrutiny and debate. This turn of events wasn't just a hurdle, it was a roadblock that threatened to stall the momentum of a career once brimming with promise. The conversations about the future of Hightower's basketball journey were rife with uncertainties. The dreams that had seemed so close were now marred by the uncertainties of legal battles and the weight of the charges he faced. The impact on Hightower's career wasn't merely confined to missed games or a disruption in his on-court performance. It was an emotional and mental toll that echoed through the locker rooms, courtside discussions, and the very ethos of college basketball. The team dynamics shifted, the spirit that once ignited the Bulldogs' court performances waned, and the conversation around the game took a somber turn. The tremors caused by the incident that enveloped Tashawn Hightower rippled far beyond the courtroom, extending into the sphere of public opinion and media scrutiny. The shock waves were felt not just within the confines of the basketball community, but reverberated throughout the broader public consciousness. The public and media responses were a swirling tempest of emotions, opinions, and debates. The news of Hightower's involvement in the legal issues became a headline that captured the collective attention. As media outlets dissected the unfolding story, a spectrum of reactions emerged. Some stood staunchly in support, expressing empathy and understanding for the complexity of a young athlete's life and the challenges he faced. Others, however, expressed disappointment and scrutiny, questioning the ramifications of the incident on the broader implications for the team, the sport, and the expectations placed on athletes as public figures. The court of public opinion was unrelenting. Social media platforms buzzed with discussions, debates, and sentiments that oscillated between support and criticism. It was a reflection of the intricate balance between a person's individual actions and the public personas athletes are expected to uphold. Amidst the whirlwind of media coverage and public discourse, Hightower found himself at a crossroads. The weight of the legal situation bore down not just on his basketball career, but also on his personal life. The implications went beyond missed games or uncertainties in his professional trajectory. It was an introspective journey that probed his choices and the profound ramifications they had wrought. Reflection became the cornerstone of Hightower's personal narrative. The implications of the incident prompted a moment of deep contemplation, an evaluation of the choices made and the unforeseen consequences that had reshaped the trajectory of his life. The legal battles were not just a trial in the courtroom, they were a trial of resilience, character, 
and the capacity for transformation amidst adversity. The aftermath of the incident was a testament to the complex interplay between personal actions and the broader societal expectations placed on public figures. It wasn't just a story of legal battles, it was a narrative of resilience, self-reflection, and the profound human journey of coming to terms with one's choices and the impact they entail on both personal and professional fronts. In the wake of the tumultuous events surrounding Tishorn Hightower, a ray of hope emerged amidst the shadows that had engulfed his basketball career. Despite the challenging terrain and the storm of public opinion, a beacon of support and encouragement flickered, hinting at the possibility of redemption and a future rekindled with promise. Within the vast labyrinth of public opinion, pockets of support and encouragement emerged, extending a lifeline to a young athlete navigating turbulent waters. Voices from within the basketball community, peers, and even some fans resonated with empathy and understanding. They voiced sentiments of second chances, highlighting the complexity of an individual's journey and the opportunities for growth and redemption. While public opinion oscillated, the journey of support and redemption hinted at the potential for a comeback. The essence of second chances and the transformative capacity inherent within the human spirit became a focal point of conversations within the basketball community. Hightower, amidst the turmoil, found himself at a crossroads. The legal battles and their aftermath not only marked a challenging chapter, but also became a catalyst for self-reflection and personal growth. The potential for a redemption story, while shrouded in uncertainty, hinted at a narrative of resilience, reform, and the human capacity for transformation. The road to redemption and a potential comeback became a story in itself, a narrative that not only explored the complexities of personal struggles, but also the unwavering spirit that seeks resurgence and renewal. It was a tale that resonated not just within the realms of college basketball, but in the broader scope of life's intricate journey. As the story of Tashawn Hightower continued to unfold, it became an emblem of the unpredictable nature of life. The journey encompassed the highs and lows, the triumphs and the setbacks, reflecting the intricate balance between talent, personal struggles, and the unforeseen circumstances that shape an individual's narrative. The conclusion of Hightower's story wasn't just about legal battles or a career upended. It was a tale that embraced the complexities of talent, the struggle for personal redemption, and the enduring human spirit that seeks to rise from the ashes of adversity. It was a narrative that painted a portrait of a journey fraught with uncertainties, yet glimmering with the potential for renewal and a future yet unwritten. Thank you for being part of this journey.